Hello, PS32 friends. Our book for today is called Sulwe by Lupita Nyong'o. A book about identity and finding the beauty within ourselves. Here we go. Sulwe was born the color of midnight. She looked nothing like her family, not even a little, not even at all. Mama was the color of dawn. Baba, the color of dusk. And Mitch, her sister, was the color of high noon. Hardly anyone at school looked like Sulway either. People gave her sister, Mitch, pet names like Sunshine and Ray and beauty. People gave Sulway names like Blackie and Darkie and Knight. Sulway felt hurt every time. So she hid away while her sister made lots of friends. Sulway dreamed of being the same color as her sister. She wanted real friends too. So, she got the biggest eraser she could find and tried to rub off a layer or two of her darkness. That hurt! She crept into Mama's room and helped herself to her makeup. Oh no, she would hear about this from Mama. Solway decided to work from the inside out and ate only the lightest, brightest foods. With a stomach ache, she went to bed early and turned to God for a miracle. Dear Lord, why do I look like midnight when my mother looks like dawn? Please make me as fair as the parents I'm from. I want to be beautiful and not just to pretend. I want to have daylight. I want to have friends. If you hear me, my Lord, and would like to employ, May I wake up as bright as the sun in the sky. Amen. When Mama came in to wake her for school the next morning, Sulwe rose to find not a trace of daylight in her midnight skin. Sulwe told Mama everything. Mama asks, what is your name? Sulwe, she muttered. And what does it mean? Star, Sulwe whispered. Brightness is not in your skin, my love. Brightness is just who you are. As for beauty, Mama said, rubbing Sulwe's stomach, the way she always did to comfort her. You are beautiful, Solwe sighed. Well, you are beautiful to me, but you can't rely on what you look like to make you feel beautiful, my sweet. Real beauty comes from your mind and your heart. It begins with how you see yourself, not how others see you. Now you, Get up and out and you go. How could she, as dark as she was, have brightness in her? How could she have beauty when no one but her mother seemed to see it? How could she be a star? That night, a shooting star appeared at Sulway's window. The night sent me, the star said. Come with me. Sulway hopped onto the star and off they went. Long ago, at the beginning of time, said the star, there was night and day, and they 
were sisters. They loved each other very much. But people didn't treat the sisters the same. People gave Day pet names like Lovely and Nice and Pretty. People gave Night names like Scary and Bad and Ugly. She felt hurt every time. Well, Night got fed up and walked Night off of the earth. Day stayed behind and enjoyed making everybody happy in the sun. But then day grew too long. Day began to really miss her sister. So did everybody else. There had to be a way to get her back. They set off to find Night, and she did. I miss you, said Day. I miss you too, said Night. But you don't know what it's like to be treated badly for being dark. You're right, I don't, Day replied. But what I do know is that we need you just the way you are. Come and see. Night returned and the people rejoiced. We need the darkest night to get the deepest rest. We need you so that we can grow and dream and keep our secrets to ourselves. The stars chimed in. Brightness isn't just for daylight. Light comes in all colors and some light can only be seen in the dark. While day had a golden glow, with night everything had a silver sheen, elegant and fine. Day told her sister, when you are darkest is when you are the most beautiful, it's when you are most you. Could it be that night did not need to change, not even, even a little, not even at all? Now that night and day were back together, a little bit of night returned to day in the form of shadows, and a little bit of day returned to the night in the forms of moonlight. They were inseparable from that moment on and promised to celebrate the brightness in each other when people chose to see it or not. You see, the star explained, we need them both on their sunniest day and their darkest night, and every shade in between. Together, they make the world we know, light and dark, strong and beautiful. Sol Ray rolls the next morning, beaming. There will be no hiding anymore. She belongs out in the world, dark and beautiful, bright and strong. And if she ever needed a reminder of her brightest, her brightness, she could look up at the sky on the darkest night to see for herself. Solway felt beautiful inside and out. The end, friends. So, I hope that you can find the beauty inside and out, just as Solway did for herself. This is Mr. Williamson wishing you all a lovely evening. Bye-bye.